referencing what is method references method references team what is method references see java 8 a provides a new feature is called method references java 8 provides a new feature new feature is called method reference in in c++ is called method resolution operator method resolution operator in c++ it is called method resolution operator method resolution operator that means it was used to was used to resolve the ambiguity it was used to resolve the ambiguity in c++ it was used to resolve the ambiguity in c++ resolve the ambiguity in c++ okay now so what is the use of this method reference to operator team see see now here earlier the main the main the main objective of lambda okay, expression is lambda expression is to reduce reduce number of lines in code the main objective of lambda expression is to reduce number of lines in code to reduce number of lines in code okay reduce number of lines in code team so, same like you know the main objective of method reference is used to is used to no more code in known lines of code in lambda expression Known lines of code in lambda expression body. Just call. Just call. Just call methods. Just call method definition. Just call method definition. is to call method definitions it will take care to bring just to call method definition it will take care to bring the it will take care you no know, to place complete a method method body into lambda expressions into lambda expression okay instead of a developer will write this method will take care of everything team okay, instead of a developer will write this method will take care of everything if you refer this method it will take care of everything team that means now there are three types of method references there are three types of method references one is reference to static method another one is 
రెఫరెన్స్ టు ఇన్స్టెన్స్ మెథడ్ థర్డ్ ఈజ్ రెఫరెన్స్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఫోర్ టైప్స్ బట్ టూ అండ్ ఫోర్ బోత్ ఆర్ సేమ్ రెఫరెన్స్ టు సారీ ఒక రెఫరెన్స్ టు ఆర్బిటరీ ఆర్బిటరీ టైప్స్ రెఫరెన్స్ టు ఆర్బిటరీ టైప్స్ రెఫరెన్స్ టు ఆర్బిటరీ టైప్ రెఫరెన్స్ టు ఆర్బిటరీ టైప్ now so we'll see few of the okay examples we 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 would be able to know first what is mean by static method okay example what is mean by static number 1 team first example public we can give i need to write our function interface public interface okay. let's assume that demo it is our simple interface any function interface what is there one abstract method is there hope you know that it is a function interface it is a function interface now what we'll do here in this function interface there is a one method public void m1 there is a one method public void m1 that's fine there is a another class public class demo main class okay something now here public static void m2 void m2 which is not a interface just we will write here system dot out dot until n here you need to write here m2 method you need to write here of m2 method look at it now let's see now here see now, now how to write now i have to methods here okay now please try to understand now please try to understand now so here it is a static method here it is a okay instance uh, method it is now how to call your lambda okay in our okay, expression how to implement this lambda of expressions how to implement this lambda of expression please try to understand team public as test main as test main public static void main string rbs string rbs string rbs now here a interesting one is string rbs now generally generally what you will do if you want to call your lambda of expression generally interface d is equal to braces you will do something your system dot out dot print l and you will do here is your lambda of expression you you used to call actually so you have if we this another interface what you will do you should to call another way of style okay. 
that is okay different are you agreed or not so this is the way you should call your lambda expression are you agreed team this is the way you should call your lambda expressions so lambda expression okay instead of you will write imfl class your uh, you know your jvm at runtime it will generate the impl class of your function interface and it will be you know called by your lambda it will be called by your function interface that everyone knows it hope you are good team everyone is good to till now now here what this function interface will do hey i am writing this demo impl this method signature should be same here i have same m1 i have this m1 let's try to understand method signature it would be same here method signature it would be same here please try to understand here now here in this case what happened you know whenever you are trying to access like this whenever you are trying to access like this so you you don't need to write unnecessarily this lambda expressions you don't need to write unnecessarily this lambda expression so instead of this lambda expressions what you will do demo d is equal to demo d is equal to what is your class name here this class name method reference operator call this you understand this one okay call this m1 understood team call this m1 okay now whenever you got this one whenever you got this one what they will do okay whenever you got this one what they will do team now you okay, instead of you will write unnecessary your lambda expression code instead of you are going to write unnecessarily your lambda expression code okay now so you are just calling so you are just calling team just calling your method method reference just calling your method reference that will be take care internally that will be take care of internally so to call the okay to call the method wherever you want not only here wherever you want you can call but only difference is only difference is it is an if it is a okay, instance method you should create the object how to create the object object demo impl object if it is instance method new demo impl use this okay, instances here then if it is a okay, instance method if it is static method what you will do demo d is equal if it is static method you should give should give class name class name colon colon m1 m1 it is called static method instance method is different static method is okay different thing if it is instance method you should go on like this if it is static method you should go like this thing understood team instead of you will write use code instead of you will write use code you will write the code in other places you will write the code in other places so just you would be using just you would be using 
this one so code reusability is there you are using code reusability team we are using code reusability understood see if it is a instance you will call it explicitly if it is non instance method what you will do you should created the object explicitly you should created the object explicitly team you should created the object explicitly here understood team now with this knowledge now here see shall we do so we have seen a okay, instance we have seen static method there are some special methods are there in lambda what are the special methods are there see what are the special methods are there see how to use this lambda of expressions lambda of expression how to use this method reference now oh, first one my lambda of expression would be yes i want to print s dot length here length is an arbitrary what is the arbitrary in length method is an arbitrary type even though it is an instance method inside of the string class for special cases if the see special case reference to arbitrary type if your input is an same of your class those scenarios also you should use method of resolution operator or method of reference operator s dot s two upper case or two lower case two upper case or two lower case then string colon two upper case two upper case understood team now so do you remember earlier we are doing some comparators i1 comma i2 i1 dot compare to of i2 then then what is there integer compare to plus okay, inside of the okay, integer so you just to give the okay, return type it is and what for what compare to so return type is an arbitrary type maybe integer so uh, 0 1 or minus 1 that's why you have to give compare to okay if it is string if it is string now what happened i1 comma i2 but if it is string that means you are giving s1 comma s2 s1 dot compare to of s2 string colon compare to okay instead of you will write too much of code team whatever you want see writing code is lambda expressions means it will be applicable for only this program only writing code in lambda expressions means it will be applicable for only this program only instead of writing code in lambda expressions i will write the code in one class inside of this method wherever you want wherever you want you can access this it is called reusability of your code it is called reusability of your code wherever you want you can call simply using this lambda expressions you can call that one understood team as we have discussed now 
See, now here see how the okay, syntax is. So, before okay, syntax is, okay, I have okay, explained how the okay, syntax is there. Number one, if you have a static method, how to call this static method? You have a some arguments, arguments, okay, args or okay, input or whatever it. Now you need to use as name comma static method pass the arguments See, what is this here you have a static method what is this lambda expression what is this lambda expressions and what is the equivalent of this method reference static method if you are using lambda expression is this and what is the method reference equivalent to lambda method reference equivalent to lambda you can write it here class name dot class name method resolution operator static method name so this is called lambda expressions this is called method reference method reference method reference okay now second one instance method instance method how to call same lambda how to call of instance syntax team if it is a instance how would be happened object to dot not class name object name dot instance method name instance method name object name dot instance method name how here method reference is object name colon object name colon instance method name instance method name i will show you practicality object to colon method of instance name third one team if you have any some constructors are there any constructor then then what you will do if it is any constructors are there same like arguments arcs new class name we oh, yeah, are this class name you are passing arguments we oh, yeah, are this class name you are passing this arguments if it is method reference if it is method reference class name new that's it Class name colon. You know how you are creating the object like this. Now, if it is method reference, you no need to pass any arguments. Just you will create the object using your class name colon arcs. Okay, class name colon new. It will take care team everything. This is the way how how to use this. Okay, practically. So now shall we start two three okay examples team you will be able to know and we should go for okay again we should go for okay instance and when we should go for static and all we would be okay able to know team is it clear team now here see go to our examples So 
atrás. Method reference. Method reference demo. Okay. Is okay. Before that, I want to create a one simple class demo. Public void M1 have two methods. It is a functional interface. It is a functional interface. Whenever it is interface, you should go for this one. New class demo MPL new class demo MPL or any class name it's not like uh, demo MPL or sample class whatever it you can give here what is this method public why it m1 please try to understand team this method signature would be same when you are referring your function interface method signature and wherever you are writing this method of a signature it would be same you know m1 method is m1 method from sample before how to call your lambda expression earlier you are calling earlier lambda expression is you are calling earlier lambda expression is you have to write like this demo d is equal demo d is equal you are passing this like this system dot out dot print ln m1 method what we would do d dot m1 you are calling this run as java application m1 method now here is one line statement is okay in your real time you have some 10 lines 20 lines or 100 lines code is there okay, instead of you will write pure lambda uh, expressions so you should write this code in where here you may ask sir again i am writing some implementation class right but my intention is when i should go for you know method reference and i should go for in lambda expressions if lambda expression is only specific to your class your business logic go for lambda only if you are this m1 logic not only for this method I would use for n number of classes, n number of other classes also I should use. Go for method reference operator. Now here see, instead of writing, just I will write. In citizen, okay, instance method new. Let's see. S sample colon m1 will be coming or not see what is error see it is a static method it cannot make static there okay new sample new. see through the object i am calling this m1 note m1 from sample note this functional interface method signature and this sample signature it should be same another example i have two things public int add 
into a comma into b into a comma into b now here now here into a comma into b now return the result or you can give why it is not a problem nothing to harm but my only small concern is it is a void system dot out dot print ln sum is a plus b sum is a plus b now here see now here why i am trying to say here new sample it's okay now you are calling m1 okay instead of you will write huge logic here how to whatever logic is there actually you should write this logic earlier in lambda now instead of what you will do d dot m1 why it is not given error now we'll see d dot m1 so sorry d dot add Add of you are passing 10 comma 20. Here also add. See, instead of whatever here some 10 lines code is there. Instead of you will write the code in separate class, separate methods. You will write in where? Here. Depends upon the situation. You should choose either lambda or you should go for this method reference. See, suppose, see, 30. Suppose, assume that you are calling lambda 1. Here only one argument is there. See, you will see error. See, you will see error. Does not define int as applicable here. And whenever you are referring your functional interface to this class, it should refer this functional interface method name parameters and this, uh, you know, this this uh, actual method uh, definition, it should be same. Very, very important point to team. Whenever you are writing your lambda expression, so here you are writing your lambda expression, not. Note your functional interface. See here method reference can be invoked by can be invoked by functional interfaces. Method interface can be invoked by functional interface. Method reference can be invoked by functional interface. Okay, now that means, see here, here. Lambda expression and here lambda expression here function interface method and here function interface method and function interface method. Functional interface method and method definition input arguments the definition signature signature means to input arguments
should be same else it will give compile time error else it will give compile time error else it will give compile time error understood very very important thing this one very very important thing now you can run the application you will get okay got it team hope all are good any questions okay you can ask me team the next one team same like i am using here static i am using here A functional interface also will have static methods team. Public static let's assume that here static. Okay, now how to call this static just class name, no need to create the object. No need to create the object. That's it. D dot. No need to create the objects. D dot. D dot M1. That's it team. That's it team. See now you got the output. Now you, you got the output team. Got it team. This is the way how, where and how you are using your lambda, uh, you know, uh, work lambda expression and work instead of lambda, you should go for, you should go for this method reference team. Simple example, quickly we'll see some other examples. How to use arbitrary for arbitrary types means you can give string s is equal to instead of string dot length you will be using lambda is called you will be using lambda is called string wherever you are using system dot out dot print ln String, string s is equal to s colon string length string length or string to upper case to upper case team wherever you want to use wherever you want to use one second instead of this simple string shall we go for some sorting steam six sortings new in sortings we will get it okay everything new sorting demo Sorting demo. Let's see. List integer numbers trace trace dot as list whatever it as list. You can give some ten comma twenty comma thirty and so on. And so on. Generally, if you want to sort these numbers now oh, here what you will do team collections dot 
sort of collections java dot util dot collections dot sort of this sort is not coming collections dot sort sort method it should come sort of how to pass list numbers i want in ascending order or i want in a descending order or whatever order you will give it should come 60 whatever order you should give it should come how the order you should give i1 comma i2 i2 i1 dot compare to of i2 compare to of i2 i1 dot compare to of i2 so once it is done compare to of i2 is done now here what it will be calling so using for each loop we can display okay, everything after sorting what is the output here let's see print stream is not applicable okay it return okay something team remove the okay let's see So it is done team collections dot everything is done after sorting let's see what is our uh, numbers here one as java application see i got the sorting is applied or not so sorting is applied or not team is it good team Sorting is applied or not. Okay. Instead of you will write too much of code here using this lambda expressions, what you will give same method collections dot sort of using this method reference operator sort of numbers comma integer colon compare to integer colon compare to that's it integer colon compare to now if you run this run as after this now you can see i am commenting this one now I am commenting this one using lambda expression you should write this all using method reference operator you just to calling this method from the integer class it will take care automatically to call everything to call everything one second The, it was stuck in team hope you got it team hope you got it <laughs>